from this point on, here's some editing done to the audio. Microphone checked. One, two, one, two. Wait, who sang that song? What up, Techies and Gamers? Welcome to Tech Toys and Gaming with Jermaine. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, and if it's your second time, third time, 50th time, welcome back again. Um, as you know, I, my channel, I review tech toys, tech for gaming, tech of all sorts, but mostly for PC tech, gaming tech, that sort of thing. So just to let you know what, what's in store with this channel. I also do a little bit of gameplay. You can check out some of the links up here in the description in my channel, right? Where I lose my mind and die over and over pathetically again and again. But in this video, we're gonna review the Fifine 732 microphone kit for gamers, right? PC gamers, vloggers, podcasters, maybe singers, right? Depending on the quality of the sound of this mic. And as you can see here in the video, I'm kind of displaying back and forth. Uh, maybe I'm showing some B-roll, maybe I'm not. Um, it's a very quality looking, quality looking, is that a thing? Quality looking? I don't think that's a thing. Very mid-range quality type of microphone. Um, the people Five Fine actually got in contact with me and say, hey, you want to remove this mic? This is our new and latest lineup of microphones for Five Fine. So you might want to check that out. Uh, brand new on Amazon. Check the link in the description if you're interested. But while we're here, we might as well just go ahead and look at what the mic looks like in our face. Right here, you get a look at the new lineup of what this microphone entails. Comes fully equipped with every component you see here. Full desktop setup, clamp, the cable, the arm, which extends to 180 degrees, right? Straight out. If you need it to go, actually it goes more than 180. Wow, it goes 190. They didn't advertise that, but that is an added bonus, a surprise bonus, right? So stick around for the full review. I'm going to allow... PC Jermaine, right? He sits at his PC and he gives his voiceovers and he does the reviews. Um, I'm gonna allow him to go over the hardware, the unboxing, um, talk about what comes in the box, talk about the quality of the mic, right? Using it while I was gaming, right? And once he's done, we'll come back here and then we're gonna give this bad boy a nice test. We're gonna test it against this little lapel. Hear that? Just to kind of give a little contrast as to what to expect. We'll compare it. We'll try to give it a fair comparison between the lapel mic I'm using, which is my wireless Uhuru, right? Nice wireless Uhuru, all wireless mic. All right, Gamer Jermaine, go ahead and take it out from here. Go ahead. And I'll be back here with the test stuff, right? Microphone. Hurry up. All right, Techies and Gamers, let's dive into a quick look at what comes in the box. Right on top, we have our instructions and promotional material. Underneath that, you'll see our pop filter in a protective plastic bag. Pulling it out, uh, first impressions is that it's a very solid and sturdy piece of hardware. Does not feel cheap at all. The filter itself is a dual layer filter, two layers of mesh to protect from those peas, popping peas and wind. It'll also help keep your mic clean from mouth debris. Lifting up the protective foam covering, we see all the components nicely packed. And the first thing I see laying on top are the backup accessories for the pop filter itself. Uh, next up, I pull out the shock mount, which feels very durable at first touch with a nice black and red color scheme. The red is actually the elastic band that hooks all the way around the device for the purpose of reducing noise from moving it or bumping it. Then we have the table clamp where you actually mount your arm onto the desk. It's uh, very industrial looking and feels that way as well with it having that big heavy duty metal screw. Then there's the 98 inch USB cable to connect to your computer or your PlayStation. Here's a little collapsible tripod mount for desktop use of the mic in case you didn't want to use the entire arm setup. This adapter can be used to mount on the tripod or arm for more flexible use of the mic without having to use a shock mount. Uh, it has a typical golden tread and has a ring cap for the bottom of the mic itself to cover up the USB port. First impressions of the arms is the sleekness of it. It feels very low profile. It's uh, all metal with a nice black finish. Still has some weight to it and has good mounting components as well. Uh, the joint itself is pretty smooth and easy to extend. It extends a slight bit above 180 degrees, perhaps 190 degrees. And the star of the show is the mic itself with an all matte metallic finish. Beneath you'll see a USB-A port, of course, though not entirely sure why we're still using that in this day and age in tech. And those are the full contents of what comes in the box. Now, there are quite a few parts that come in the box, but don't be intimidated. We're gonna build this together right now, so come on, let's go ahead and do it right now. The instruction manual that comes in the box is pretty fleshed out with all you need to know for the hardware setup, as well as the computer configurations once you've connected it to your PC or your Mac. First, we're gonna start off with connecting the clamp to the table, which is pretty easy to do. You just unscrew the clamp, 
to open it up. It opens up about two inches in width, uh, so be sure your table is not thicker than that. This table here is about an inch and a half thickness, maybe almost two inches, but fits just fine. Next, we're gonna to want to mount the arm onto the clamp on the table, which is also easy to do. Just unscrew the fastener that holds the arm into place, stick the arm into the clamp, and then just go ahead and screw back in the fastener, but not too tight as you're gonna probably want to swivel the arm around as it's laying on your desk. Next course of action is to mount the shock mount onto the arm, which is fairly straightforward. It's just a matter of screwing it on the arm header and positioning it as you please. What I found interesting was the tripod kit came with this mic mount which had bundled in it a mic cap which goes on the base of your mic to cover the metallic USB housing. Uh, I suppose it would prevent you from touching the metal with anything which may cause interference. Uh, I wouldn't want to leave the metal bare that way anyway so um, I put the cap on. Mounting the mic was a breeze. All you have to do is squeeze these retention handles and drop the mic right in. Once you let go of the handles it tightens right onto the mic with a nice sturdy grip. With the mic settled in, let's go ahead and mount the pop filter onto the arm itself, pretty much anywhere near the mic. The clamp has a rubberized cap where you screw it on so it doesn't damage the arm. Give it a few good twists, make sure it's nice and snug and you're all set. And this is what your build would look like once it's all said and done. Now, I will say that it was probably really easy to put together. I actually didn't have to refer to the instruction manual at all, really. Not to mention it's plug and play, so you just plug it into your PC, it detects it, and it's just a matter of configuring the audio once it's plugged in. All right, with this built, we'll go ahead and pass it over to Gamer Jermaine to give his little test run. Hopefully he doesn't drag it out because sometimes he can just talk and talk and can't shut the- All right, that's enough talk out of PC Jermaine. We're gonna get right into the testing of- but By the way, thank you very much. I appreciate your insight, your in-depth detail of all the hardware. Your work will be rewarded. Sometimes, somewhere. What? All right, so now we're just gonna get into the audio quality of what this mic actually sounds like. We're gonna compare it next to this Uhuru wireless mic, just for reference. You know, you need to compare this to something so that way you can kind of gauge what um, you're actually working with, if it's any good, if it's any better than the equipment you already have. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and plug into um, our PC. I'm gonna listen right along with you just so I can do the comparison right on the fly with my headset and we can all do it together, get along. What? All right, so this is the quality of this wireless mic. Um, this is my go-to for gaming. It's very um, liberating to be wireless, um, though it's not so liberating as I have to have the pack on me in my pocket or hooked up on my belt or something and this hooked up to my shirt, the interior of my shirt, so I just have to worry about it being out of the way. So I'm just gonna clip it on here for right now because we're gonna make the slow transition from this mic, right? Right now I actually have a noise suppression running. So that way I can kill out all the noise and all the craziness that's happening around me. I have an HVAC system, so right now I have that suppression going, so you can't really hear anything. Uh, it works good, sometimes too good sometimes. Sometimes I'll yell and scream and some of those high pitched uh, audio sounds will just get muffled, not even come out in the audio at all. But let's go ahead and um, add this mic to my OBS. Um, I'm gonna actually share my OBS up on the screen here as well. So you can see what I'm doing uh, on the fly. I know my previous review of the microphone, I didn't do that, but I'm gonna share that now, right? Let's get better with time and not with age. Wait, how does that work? All right, so right now, uh, as you can see, I am recording. So we're gonna dive right down in here, uh, add a mic. At an audio source, which is going to be a microphone audio input, right? And we're gonna call it the, let's call it Fi, Fine, let's call it T732. Let's just call it by the model number, why don't we? T732, what, that's not a capital? All right, click OK. All right, so I have successfully added, uh, maybe I can extend this up a little bit. Let's see, yeah, let's bring that up a little bit so you can see what's going on all at once. Cool, uh, I've added the mic here, Fine 732. Uh, I have it on mute right now because uh, it looks like it's coming in very high and sensitive at the moment. I don't have any, um, <laughs> I don't have any suppression going on with it, any noise filtering, so. Um, if I click that, it's gonna sound, whoa, look at the red. All right, so let's make the switch. I'm gonna mute this, All right? You're gonna get some background noise because there's no filtering, but let's just see what it sounds like. Um, before I do that, oh, let me join you. And now we are on, this is loud. I hear like 
my audio my audio my, i hear my audio kind of breaking up um sounds strange in my headphones i will say i feel like there is some distortion of some sort right put in the comments if you feel like there is some slight distortion with this maybe it's too loud uh i'm gonna drop the audio i'm already at like 50 percent let's drop it down to negative 40 decibels uh let's do yeah let's let's drop it right there all right um testing it still sounds like there's some distortion i'm gonna switch back and see if i notice any of that at least in my audio right let's switch back testing, testing. i have two, I have two. All right, all right so, so i have, I have both, both running, running simultaneously, simultaneously. So, so if you, if you notice, notice it's delay, delay it's, it's with, with a wireless, wireless mic, mic. Right. right? Cut. Cut. I kind of expect, expect the wireless, wireless delay. delay. Maybe, Maybe I, should I should pause, pause one so I can, so talk. I can talk. But, but it, let's pause this one for now. Um, I expect the wireless delay because you're wireless, but it's only to me, right? The video does a great job at syncing the audio with the video, so but it's hard to talk because I'm hearing myself. Oh, I'm like an echo chamber. I'm gonna switch back and we're gonna apply some filters. So we're gonna go into properties, advanced properties, and we're in the wrong window. Let's pop in some audio filter here. Um, let's add some noise suppression so we can get rid of that. You hear that? That is my wonderful HVAC system. But if I click this, uh, we'll call it noise suppression. What does the audio sound like now? Ooh, that sounds, this is sounding good now. I'm feeling like, yeah, this is, this is sweet right here. This is sweet right here. This is kind of a sweet spot. Switching over to my wireless mic. Sounds a little lower, actually. I'm gonna put it up. I have the wireless mic bumped up, right? Obviously it's much smaller diaphragm. Let me switch back over. I find that when I'm, wow, I feel like I have to talk low now. Back up a little bit. I find that when I'm editing audio, I don't have to do too much editing with the with the wireless mic, right? I don't know how this is gonna play out, but um, I'm gonna edit this in my editing software. And from this point on, here's some editing done to the audio. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Hey, who sang that song? If I blow into the pop filter itself, it's doing a good job at buffering that, that wind. So the peas, which push out a lot of powerful winds, um, will definitely hit that mic. If I take this down, yeah, that sounds like a very windy day. And any peas that I push out, I have the Fifine K669B mic desktop uh, microphone, and I will say that the quality on that is slightly better than the quality on this. With that suppression, it's a world of a difference when you're using this mic, right? It sounds wonderful without that, um, that background noise. So um, right now it's just sounding pretty impressive. It's very pretty. Um, the metal construction is very, nice and sleek it's kind of matte finish matte black finish on it um the way you can extend it right 180 degrees uh even further if you wanted to right you can hyper extend it to like 190 probably i would say on a scale from one to five usb ports um in terms of quality construction um aesthetics the way it looks um stability usability uh, on your desktop, you know, the functionality of it. I would give it about four USB ports, four out of five USB ports. You get that high USB bus speeds going through. Um, pretty good mic. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm actually going to use it for my audio overlays just to kind of just round it off right this, right? PC Jermaine, when he's doing his little breakdown on the hardware unboxing part of it. All right, Takes and Gamers, that is the review of the Fifine T732 microphone. Uh, if you liked the video, you enjoyed the review, maybe it has enticed you and maybe you want to actually purchase this mic, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this coming up in the future, subscribe for gameplay, subscribe for 
more tech insight, more reviews, and more ways to actually upgrade your studio setup the way I have been slowly but surely since the beginning. Check out my first video. That was pretty pathetic, but this is not that much better. Maybe, I don't know. I think it's good. Thank you, Five Fine. Appreciate you providing me with this microphone. Um, I will definitely <laughs> try using this mic for gameplay, for podcasting. Uh, I'm going to use it right now. I'm about to play uh, Outriders demo and we're going to ride it out with this and You'll see the quality right here. I'll take it out, PC Jermaine, with my gameplay right now. Please. Ooh, a chest. Let's get some chests. I take chests. Ooh. Yes. A chest, vest. We're going to equip it right now. Let's not play a game. I mean, we are playing a game, but now it's a fair fight. Now we... Ooh, you're about... You are in trouble. You guys are all in trouble now. And we're gonna inflict burn on whoever's next to you. Oh, that burn. Look at the burn damage. Look at him burn away. What? This gun is cracked. 